If you ask the media, it's obvious what the Clippers should do. You blow it all up. This is the perfect year to blow it all up. You can break this team up, start younger, going into a, um, a new arena. Hell no. Clean house. I'm sorry. I know you're moving into a new arena, but damn it, you bring, you're bring you getting stars and you're going home in the first round any damn way. I, I can't do it. Oh, yeah, just blow it up like a video game. Trey Kawhi, let PG and Harden walk. Why not? After making the conference finals in 2021, the Clips have failed to win a first round series in three years. Why would you run that back? Well, there's actually a very simple reason. But if you ask LA, everything's great. We are still big believers that the championship window is still open. Yeah, anytime someone says that, you know it's a lie. What they really mean is, we are screwed and there's nothing anyone can do. To the media, running it back makes no sense. So what would blowing it up actually look like? Boy, I wish I had today's sponsor, Dave, when I was in college. I had very little budget, but I got parking tickets all the time. Why? Because I lived in Southern California. The most restrictive parking laws ever because it's so crowded, but I just couldn't avoid it. What Dave is, is a banking app that's leveled the financial playing field. When you download Dave, you can get up to 500 bucks in five minutes or less. No credit check, no late fees. It's part of Dave's extra cash account. You just advance the money that you need with no interest and then settle up later. In fact, Dave has helped its members avoid over 2.5 billion in overdraft fees since 2017. So if you're in a pinch, you get the help you need by downloading Dave. Download Dave today at dave.com slash amhoops. That is dave.com slash amhoops. You get up to 500 bucks in five minutes or less when you download Dave. No credit check, no late fees. So download the Dave app now or go to dave.com slash amhoops. Now for terms and conditions, go to dave.com slash legal. Eligibility criteria and instant transfer fees apply. Banking services provided by Involved member FDIC. Well, this current era began in 2019 when the Clippers traded for Paul George, which secured free agent Kawhi Leonard. They sent the Thunder, Shea Gilgis Alexander, Danilo Gallinari, three first round picks, two swaps, and two other picks from Miami. But this year, OKC's already passed them up. The Thunder built with their own picks, getting Josh Giddey, Chet Holmgren, and Kaysen Wallace, while SGA and Jalen Williams came from the big trade. LA was supposed to have a championship by now. And sure enough, they were the favorites that first year to win the title. But ever since have slowly faded away. The big problem is Kawhi's health. Since 2019, he has only played in four of 19 possible playoff games. Four games. Now, for the third time in four years, he finished the season on the bench. This year, it looked like things were turning around. Kawhi played 68 games, his most since 2017, but 20 days before the postseason, he tweaks his knee and is never the same. Why lock yourself into that? One reason is this new arena, the greatest basketball stadium of all time. And honestly, you are not gonna believe how awesome this thing is. It costs $2 billion and holds under 18,000 seats. To put that in perspective, Allegiant Stadium just held the Super Bowl, new age building that holds three times as many people, it costs less than the Clippers' new place. Why? Well, Steve Ballmer is the 10th richest person in the world. He bought the Clippers a decade ago and didn't even plan on building a new arena. Then he found out how miserable it actually is to be the Clippers in LA. Like being the runt of the litter when it's feeding time. <laughs> only gets leftover scraps. They share an arena with the Kings, Lakers, and concerts like Taylor Swift. Everyone else gets their pick of when to play. Uh, prime time is filled. Could you play Saturday at noon? But that's a horrible time. Oh wait, we have a night spot that actually opened up, but it's during a big football game. So Balmer picked out a spot 11 miles south of the Lakers, but the Knicks owner, James Dolan, sued him. Dolan owns the forum next door and said it would kill his business. So to avoid all the hassle, Bomber just bought the forum for 400 million. Next up, an even bigger problem how to give the Clippers home court advantage. They are notoriously unpopular in their own city. You almost never see Clipper fans walking around LA. Half their crowd is usually rooting against them at home. So Bomber's trying to fix this with the wall. Seats from floor to ceiling like a college arena to intimidate the other team. If you sit here and root for the other team, you are banned for life. You can't even wear another team's shirt. There are chips 
grips in the seats to know when fans are standing up to cheer. And if you don't cheer, you are kicked out. And to get fans back in their seats, Ballmer installed twice as many bathrooms as a normal arena. No more standing in line. The gift shop and concession stands use no credit cards to get in and out. 200 game clocks are around the arena to always know when halftime ends. To make being in your seat more enjoyable, he tested out over 60 cushions. There's more leg room and a power outlet and a fan at every seat. But the biggest expense is the scoreboard. It is five times larger than your normal Jumbotron. One acre of LED lights in a halo above the court. You cannot have a crappy team year one in that building, but they might not have a choice. Paul George, James Harden, and Russell Westbrook can all be free agents. That would leave Kawhi and a bunch of role players with no picks for the future. So they need PG back, right? Nope. To this day, they haven't even offered him a max contract. They signed Kawhi for three years just under the max, and they're hoping Paul George will do the same. But the Sixers have a max waiting for PG to join Joel Embiid. In fact, the most LA can offer is four years, 221 million bucks. The Sixers max, four years, 212. But the state tax in California is 12.5%. In Philly, just about 3.5%. So technically, the Sixers can offer him more money. What are they thinking messing around with this? Paul played his most games in five years this season and shot a career high 41% from three. Unlike Kawhi, he has been there for every playoffs except for one. If they lose him, it's for nothing. Paul leaves and they can't replace him. Other competitive teams that can max him out are the Magic and Thunder, non-competitive teams with money, the Spurs, the Pistons, and the Jazz. But what about James Harden? He was actually amazing after the trade. Dude dropped 18 points and eight dimes with just two turnovers before All-Star. That's his fewest turnovers since he was on the Thunder. In the playoffs, amazing games one through four. 26 points, seven assists, 50% from deep. Oh, but in that all-important game five, he pulled a Harden. Seven points, 0 from six from three. But he too is super important key to why they were the number one team in the West in early February. He's not going to get the max, but they need him. As for Russell Westbrook, he didn't like taking a bench roll, but if you look at his IG, it sounds like he's willing to come back. Said he enjoyed his season, especially after the Lakers situation. But if the media is correct, what would blowing it up actually look like? Well, first thing you got to do is trade Kawhi. He's under contract for three years, but what could they get? I mean, two first round picks for him role players then you gotta pray that paul george leaves on a sign and trade and at best they would have other people's picks like the nets and a bad season would only help the thunder so the championship window is not open it is closed but the clippers can't afford to actually admit that the best they can hope for is like a warriors 2022 run old team but they win the chip anyway except the clips don't have that championship experience or i don't know a healthy number one player the west has passed them by nikola Jokic is just 29 years old sg is 24 anthony edwards is 22 la gambled getting Kawhi and pg and it failed but they have no choice but to run it back kind of reminds you of the sun situation actually their owner said oh a million other teams would love to be us is anyone believing that especially after the wild devin booker rumors